Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5 of Twice Thursdays. So last week there were no episodes. That's because I am currently in the middle of writing my exams and I wanted to film a couple of episodes before and be beforehand but then my exams got pushed forward then it completely threw my plans for loop and I had to like really make new plans and everything so um because of that I will try as much as possible to be consistent with the episode for the month of May but I can't promise anything um as much as I love doing this and just sitting here and um, absorbing new music and getting to know all those amazing artists, I also have to put the focus on my studies. So unfortunately, things the channel have to has to take a step back a little bit. But if I can film some content um, in advance, like I have made a, a new plan, Things should go smoothly and you should get an episode each and every week. If I can't, then I'll do it on um, maybe an episode every two weeks. Hopefully things don't go that far, but for this month, I really have to focus on my exams. So today is all about Merry and Happy. And I just love this album. Um, so many good songs. I found a new favorite, um, Twice songs, and my new number one when it comes to my favorite songs for um when it comes to Twice. But then I still have my number one. Uh, my number one album is still the same. It's just my number one song has changed because. Um, normally I'm such a hater when it comes to holiday season songs and albums and I hate everything Christmassy like I hate Christmas just because you know um, the part of the world that I live in that's when winter comes around and I hate being cold so since I was little I always hated Christmas seasons and it just trickled into the music, everything like um, it's this Chris, the Christmas tree, everything that is Christmas is something that I dislike a lot. So whenever I found like artists that put out um, end of the year albums, like winter albums and stuff like this, I'm always very um, skeptical when it comes to maybe me enjoying it because I don't want my own um pre pre what <laughs> my own the state uh for disdain rather my own disdain for um Christmas to kind of affect my enjoyment of a certain album just because it's Christmassy. But with this album actually I found myself really enjoying it. And I think the for the most part it has to do with twice. Um I think I mentioned before in previous episode how for me twice is just fun. They're just the type of artist that have that music that always uplift your mood like you could have a very bad day and put on some twice music and i promise you your mood will be instantly lifted um and that's what has been happening to me whenever i listen to twice as music i'm always in a good mood and it doesn't matter the type of sound that they go for it could even be like a slower type of sound it always makes me happy twice music always puts a smile on my face and for me when i think of fun the first um artist that comes to my mind is twice it just have this you know, some people, you see them smile and you want to smile as well, even though you might not be in the mood for that. That's twice for me. Twice, they just joy personified. Whenever I listen to the music, I just love the feelings that I get from that. So going into this album with already this idea that, you know, Christmas albums are not for me, but I went into it and I listened to it and 
I found myself enjoying this album so much. I I completely forgot that Christmas and things, all the things um surrounding it are not for me. And I just love that. I love music that can make me change my mind. I love when an artist is capable of making me like a certain sound or type of music that I usually don't. And, you know, I just love the fact that I can put on some twice music, whatever the album, and really enjoy myself. And, you know, you don't need to adjust. You don't need to, you don't need lyrics. You don't need anything. Just the music does the job. Of course, like knowing what they're talking about and everything is good. But to be honest, just the music is already so great. I don't care what they're talking about. Um, I don't care what they say in the music or anything like that because from the first few seconds of a song, they already got me. You know, some songs I'm I'm like, oh, maybe if I know what they're talking about and I get the vibe, um, I would love that and all that stuff. But when it comes to twice. Really, I don't need any convincing. The music does the job for me, and I really enjoy that. It's And it's a feeling that I got again while listening to this album. So although I love the entire album, I have a top three when it comes to this album, starting with my number three, 24-7. Every day, yeah. All day, what do I got to know? Never had a good yard in a night and I do it. I can't do with it, yeah. Take a dig at the alarm, sorry, got to leave.
Gumi. And that was 24-7, my third favorite in this album. I just love the song. I love the vocals. I love the ending. But I think what really sold the song for me is that moment when, like, the rap um, verse comes in and there's just a little bit of a little bit of a switch like not too much just enough with the beat i just love that rap first because i think it fits the mood and i love it you know the thing with twice is they've made me realize that there's just so many ways to make a playful song you know that I did not even think of before. You know, some playful songs are very happy, super high energy um, type of songs. And sometimes the playfulness will be in the way that they come on the song. Sometimes it will be um, just the rhythm, but not too much. Sometimes it will be the way like they're pronouncing certain words. So I love how diverse they can really um, get when it comes to making a song that is just as playful as this one. And this song is just such a good time. I love it. I love the vocals. I love the melody. But I think that what really sold the song overall to me, for me, was just that rap part. I just love it. Like, it's just a great idea to put it where it is. And it just goes so well with the song. And it just adds a little bit of spice to an already great song. When it comes to my second favorite, it is Heart Shaker.
that was my second favorite in this album heart shaker i just love it like this song there is no way you listen to the song and it will end without you having a huge smile on your face it's just happiness in a song i just love it um i would say my favorite part of the song is definitely the bridge i love the bridge so much but the song is just so nice so upbeat <sighs> like i just enjoy listening to to twice because of it because you can't control um you can control yourself when you listen to their music like there's no way you can listen to twice music and be untouched like i can't see it because it's it's just so nice so refreshing so full of joy and happiness and so fun i just enjoy it twice overall and i really really um I really love listening to the music, especially lately. Like I've been under so much stress because of my exams. And to be honest, listening to this album really uplifted my mood. Like, and I even started studying with twice playing most of the time because it's just, like I said, they make the type of music that really just uplift my mood. And I just love that. Um, when it comes to twice now my number one in the album and also my number one in twice discography at the moment as of this album is like <laughs>
And that was my favorite song in this album, Likey. It's also my number one twice song as of this album. I just love the song. It's just so great. I love how complex the beat is. Like there's so many little sounds like we uh, woven in between the actual beat. And I just love that at any given time in a song, as much as there's so much happening in the forefront, in the background, there's just so many little touches that are done. And I, I think it just adds a little bit, um, it adds so many beautiful touches to the song. But again, this is another song where I felt like the rap verse was just perfectly timed because, um, your energy is already so high. You've been just vibing to the song. And again, they just made that little switch up to the beat right before she was bef uh, she was um, going to start rapping. And I just love it. And then there's a second switch up while she's rapping. And she also switches like the uh, delivery. Oh my God. I just love I, I love the song. I think it's just so amazing. Definitely, like I said, my number one song when it comes to Twice at the moment. It's just so good. I, I love it. I love the melody. I, I love everything about it. And the thing is, that bridge is just so amazing because you go from this amazingness that goes on with the rap and then there's just this moment with the instrumental right before going back to the chorus. I just love it. And also that chorus is just so super catchy that it will just stay with you this song is definitely one that you will go back to a lot and i just love that so much um like i said this album for me is definitely another great one and at the moment twice as definitely um are definitely my go-to music um with all the stress that i that i have been under lately because of my exams and i just love their music it's so positive and it's so good they're just so talented and there's such a pool of talent in the group that they can really showcase a lot of things um with different albums for example this is the the first album where i've really got um enamored with the rappers the rapper first the rappers here like in the group you know um in the past album i kept mentioning how um i found myself really falling in love with their vocals and also surprised by by how good they were the the vocals are when it comes to twice because um like i mentioned before whenever there is a discourse when it comes to beautiful vocals um in k-pop they are rarely mentioned and i i i was always stressing the point that for me they deserve to be in that conversation because this at this point they have already just taking my breath away with the music and just how beautiful their vocals are. And then with this album, I really started appreciating the rappers more because they just added a little bit, um, this, this touch of something special to the songs. And I think they also deserve their own praise. And I feel like the rap line is definitely my biggest takeaway from this album, aside from the fact that it is already as amazing as it is. Like, it really, they really made me stop and be like, whoa, there's also the side of Twice that I've not been noticing so far. So I'm really excited for the upcoming albums to see how, like, the different, um, the different what's this the different sides of twice are being showcased with all the different um with the upcoming albums i'm looking forward to what type of sounds they are going to go for um and just looking forward to some great music some great vibe um i think that's it for me today as usual, let me know in the comments your personal favorite when it comes to this album and is this your favorite twice album or is this one is it one that is to come or one that are ai 
already listened to. Um, otherwise, I think that's it. <laughs> I've said that three times now. Talk to you next week.